Hallelujah, ladies and gentlemen, for this is the day that the Lord has made. I am so blessed and so excited because God has supernaturally set you up. You know, I want to encourage you today. You know, the word of the Lord says to walk out by faith and not by sight. So it doesn't matter how things may appear or things may look. Just walk out in the word and just rejoice in it in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, I have a beautiful woman of God. Her name is Kia Johnson, and she's known as Dot, D-O-T, which stands for Daughter of Truth. Yes. I would like to welcome you to Saints of Value, S O V. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. Praise God. You know, um, Kia, our Daughter of Truth, could you just maybe tell me a little bit about yourself, where you go to church, you know, your pastor? Look in that camera and talk to us. I am a member of Solid Rock Baptist Church where my pastor is the pastor, Clarence D. Devereaux. I've been attending there for since I've been about 12 years old, mm -hmm. and um, I have strongly believed in the Word of God at a young age. Um, I've always loved to worship God and to continue to stay focused in this ministry and to be a, a saint, someone on fire for Jesus, ready to serve him at uh, my young age. Amen. Your young age? So yes. You don't have to tell me how you... But no, you're... I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's for the next broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, you do poetry. Yes. Now, what got you interested into doing poetry? Was there any specific event that triggered it out, or was it always inside of you? How did how did that you come about to do that? I believe that it, not only was it genetic. Oh. I have a lot of family members who are writers, who write plays, oh. and who write songs. Okay. And when I was younger, I wrote a song for uh, the DCC choir at my really? church. Okay. And at that point, I got still had not revealed the gift to me yet. Uh -huh. And it just so happened that I was sitting outside on a bus stop um, when I was 18, mm -hmm. and um, the Holy Spirit told me to write. Amen. And I said, I don't know. Uh, okay. So okay. I sat on that bus stop. Amen. Buses passed me. And um, that's when God revealed to me that not only are your your talents in singing, but I'm giving you also this gift of writing. Amen. So since then, I have been on fire. You know, I, I wrote for the world and right. I did the open mic spots and I yeah. went to a, um, different places where you normally wouldn't do spoken word spiritually. Mm -hmm. And okay. before he could deliver me from mm -hmm. the word, deliver me from writing for the world, I had mm -hmm. to study the word. I had to get to know right. him. I had to Amen. figure out who he was. Yes. And uh, so lo and behold, that foundation together. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I was at our uh, state convention, uh -huh. and uh, there was a speakers tournament. Mm -hmm. And instead of writing a speech, I wrote a poem okay. for it, and uh, they gave me first place. God. And after God showed me how to write, and then um, add scripture, okay, and also allow it to rhyme, okay. I said, "Well, praise Go God." I now. said, "Let me let That's me try and <laughs> see how this works." You know. Amen. Amen, amen. There may be someone out there that have a gift inside of them. So what would you tell them to encourage them or maybe to some words of inspiration? Maybe look in the camera and let them know. Somebody's out there. I believe that God is a just God. And when you are a believer and you're obedient to his word, he revealed things to you that are magnificent. Magnificent. Um, if you're someone who has a gift that you are not utilizing, then um, the Bible speaks about where he'll take the gifts away mm -hmm. from if you're not using uh -oh. them to glorify him. And I sit here to say that whatever it is that God has given you, use it to worship him and glorify him. If you can't write poetry, but you can sing, sing. If you can't dance, uh, but you can clap your hands or you can play the, the instruments, um, play them because God gets all the glory. You know, the Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And praising the Lord not only goes through instruments, but through your gifts. And Amen. I believe he gave them to you to use Amen. them and give it back to him. Amen. He was gracious Amen. enough to give you enough. Amen. Give it back to him. Worship him with your gifts. You know, I see, I'm a seer and I pull out gifts and talents. And as you were speaking, what came up in my spirit, uh, mentoring, mentoring praise God. the youth in this arena of the spoken word. Praise God. You know, I don't know. I mean, this is something being birthed right here on, you know, SOB with Victory. Okay, but uh, I can see that 
birthing um, for the youth, you know, you may be a youth out there. Are you available to speak into people's life, to kind of cultivate them, to uh, to flow in that gift, you know, the discipline that comes along with it. Like you said, the Word of God, you need to be rooted and grounded in the Word of God. So when you are rhyming and your spoken words, and most of all, the spirit that's within you and on you, it transfers to the people that you're Absolutely. ministering to. So you just can't be up there, just, that's just right. got out of... Uh, drinking wine that's the night right. before Praise or doing God. the that's back right. it up thing that's right and uh you know <laughs> want to get up right. there and preach that's right because it just doesn't mix so you know what i'm feeling in my heart god, god has just gave me a tremendous um hunger and a desire for the youth and to minister to the youth so as you were speaking you know i was saying man that would be great just to have an avenue for a community type thing where we can bring in the children to mentor them so but you are available to do that yes. if someone is interesting yes. and interested in it, you would be like a mentor Absolutely. to them. I'm uh, currently already doing so. Okay, so doing my job. Okay, but uh, I believe that um, there's a generation, different generations. Okay, and there may be a generation that I may not be able to reach. Sure, but there may be a young woman who loves to write uh -huh. and just needs to learn. Like you said, you have to be disciplined. Yeah, because it's difficult to. Uh, produce God's word right. if you're not living in obedience yeah. and um, it, it totally um, messes up the spirit Amen. you know if, if you're not focused on what it is you need to do Amen. then you, you yeah. will not be able to deliver it effectively. Right. Like I and it's a process. Exactly. You know, you, I mean, you exactly. don't just wake up and you got it all together and you're ready to go. Because God, if he can use a donkey, he can use anything. We know That's that in right. his mercy and his grace is just Oh, glory to God. Right. And it do, but see, it doesn't matter how many times you fall down, but how many times you get up, dust yourself off, and go on in the things of God. So you have Man. to have that heart to want to yes. do right. You know, right. so it's not like you so, you know, but God is good. Amen. Yes. So you're going to do uh, the spoken word, because I was saying poetry. It's really the spoken That's word. Right. I love that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, y'all. The spoken word. So you're going to do some spoken word. Yes. And the first piece that you're going to do is what? Don't judge me, accept me. Okay, this so don't judge me.